Hi everyone. Uh, so today's video is going to be wax that's new to me part 10. I can't believe we're already at number 10. Um, so I have three bars here that I have never tried before. Uh, none of them are new to the catalog. I just for whatever reason never bothered ordering them, never bother, bothered trying them. So I'll just jump into it. So the first one that was like I feel like the most controversial one that I've come across yet would be maybe it's just maybe it's just controversial to me. Maybe I'm the only one. <laughs> but Snowberry. Now I heard mixed reviews about this when people either they seem to either really like it or really hate it. Uh, it's a nice white wax. I don't want to smell it. Yeah, it's um it's an odd scent. Um it's loganberry, strawberry, peppermint, and zesty cinnamon. Now, sometimes I, I, um, when this was melting, I would walk into a room and I would smell like a nice soft strawberry scent. And I'd be like, hmm, that's really nice. But most of the time, I don't feel like the peppermint and the cinnamon go together with the fruit. It just, it was so odd, so weird. It almost, I don't want to say maybe nauseous at times, but really kind of turned my stomach at times. It's weird. Sometimes, like I said, I'd walk in, I get the nice, sweet, soft strawberry scent, but most of the time I did not, and whatever, I just did not like it. Um, nobody else seemed to like it in my household either. Um, it just seems like a really odd combo with the, the combination of scents. But anyways, it is strong. It does work in open concept. It's just not one for me. I'm not a huge fan. My family's not a big fan. I would, sorry, but I would not buy this again. I just mm -mm, did not like this one. Snowberry. Let me know if you've tried it, what you think. Uh, next one on the list is Vanilla Mint. Again, um, nice white wax. It's described as wintergreen frost, vanilla, and frozen citrus. Now, this one here, it's a nice, soft, sweet, vanilla minty scent. The vanilla mint. But um, as silly as that sounds, that's what it is. It's, it's strong, though, and it's long-lasting, and it really works well in open concept. Um, if you're not used to minty scents, let's say, it's a nice introduction scent to the, the, the mint side of scents. Now, if you like Silver Bells, you know, you could try this one. I found that after, um, at first it was very, you know, I got the minty with some sweetness to it. After it had been going for maybe and by the next day, maybe it was more vanilla minty. And I was starting to get like a, kind of like a man, manly cologne scent to it all. It was really odd. Um, but yeah, that's Vanilla Mint. Um, I don't really like it. Don't hate it. It's kind of, I'm indifferent to it. But that's that one. Um, just one second. Sorry about that. I'm hearing things. I could have sworn there was someone. Um, I, I thought it was one of my kids tapping gently on the door. Anyways, it's probably one of them down below. Um, okay, so where was I? Vanilla Mint. Yeah, so I'm just kind of indifferent to it. It's not horrible. Um, when I smell it, though, I'm not getting a toothpaste vibe. So yay! <laughs> but again, um, comparing it to Snowberry, like, oh, this is so much better than Snowberry. Um, but like I said, if you like Silver Bells, um, if you're not one for like perfect peppermint, which is very, very strong, uh, mint, give this one a shot. One that this made me think of was, uh, Marshmallow Mint. That's one that I'd never tried before. And I, I came back and I bring back my bar not too long ago and I kind of regret not trying it. Cause I feel like that was all right. Vanilla Mint, but I feel like maybe Marshmallow Mint might be more my thing. Sounds, sounds more yummy anyways. So that's Vanilla Mint. Last but not least I have here is Candied Cranberry Pecan. Now I say pecan, but I like the sound of pecan better. I, I It's just, but where I'm from, we say pecan. Pecan. Pecan sounds just so much nicer. Anyways, so nice red wax. And this one's described as cranberries, pecan, sugarcane, and brandied plum. Honestly, I get cranberry. I mean, maybe the brandy plum mixed in with it. Fruity, I get cranberry sweet. I don't I don't smell the nuts. I, if you saw my haul, I was really hoping for nuts. Um, if you ever tried Central Park Pralines, that was a Bring Back My Bar not too long ago. Maybe, I don't want to say this year, January, maybe 2019 January. Really good. I never put in my club and I've regretted it ever since. That's a really good nut scent. Now, this one, I feel like, if you like Mer Very Merry Cranberry, you'll like this. This is probably cranberry mixed with a little bit of plum. Like like I said, I, I smell mostly cranberry. Maybe someone with a finer tuned nose can, can, you know, distinguish everything. But, I mean, 
yeah, if you like anything fruity, like Be Merry, any of those merry, very merry cranberry scents, um, you'll like this one. Like, it's nice. I, I feel like I don't seem too excited about it because I love Very Merry Cranberry and I already have that one. I, I feel like this one, I was really hoping for nuts and the cranberry scent. And I just mm, disappointed me on the nut part. Um, but yes, it is super strong. Works very well in open concept. It's just, it's missing a little something, but I mean, out of the three scents that I've tried that were new to me, this is my favorite. Mind you, probably not going to buy any more bars only because I get what I want out of it from Mary, Very Merry Cranberry. So I feel like I don't need both. So, but that's it. Those are my thoughts on these three scents. So Snowberry, ooh, ooh. Um, Vanilla Mint was like, meh. And then... Can candy cranberry is nice, but again, I wanted nuts and I didn't get no nuts. So disappointed. None of these would be in my club come into the season. I don't think that's kind of shocking, but let me know what you think of these ones. You love them? You hate them? Have you tried them or not? Anyways, hope everyone's having a good one wherever you are and I will catch you in the next one. Bye guys.